Welcome to the Observer Daily Headlines broadcast. Join us as we share today's top news from Longboat, Sarasota, East County, and Siesta Key. Yourobserver.com, local news that's local news. Are you having a case of the Mondays? Well, get yourself a clown nose and be happy. It's Monday, May 14th, and I'm Lauren Mayo, here to observe and report for yourobserver.com. A sting operation reported today the results of Operation Intercept. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office reports it has assisted to bring in 31 online predators. The Sheriff's Office teamed up with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Homeland Security Investigations, the Sarasota Police Department, and others to initiate the operation. Tomorrow's Sarasota County School Board meeting will focus on an advertising policy. The school board is set to hear an update on the implementation of an advertising policy and an update on other counties doing the same. Other items on the agenda include discussions on Northport technical education programs and wellness programs. Check yourobserver.com for more information. Manatee County Libraries are showing generosity with a week of fines forgiveness. During the fine free week, Manatee County Libraries will accept overdue books without charging the fine. Books must be returned to a staff member in order for the lender's account to be cleared. In addition, lenders unable to find lost materials may donate blankets, towels, or even a 20-pound bag of dog food in lieu of paying the $45 fine. Goods collected will be given to local shelters. Fine Forgiveness Week will run through May 19th. All materials must be turned in by 5 p.m. Last weekend, Bashal Elementary families enjoyed a night filled with arts and culture. The elementary school hosted its annual Art and Music Festival Friday, May 11th. Students dressed up in costumes for the event and performed a variety of cowboy and Native American-inspired songs. For a full photo gallery, go to yourobserver.com. The Harvey Milk Festival took over Five Points Park Saturday night. The third day of the event included live music, art, film, and vendors. The festival was held in memory of the life and political career of Harvey Milk. For more photos, go online to yourobserver.com. Sarasota Baywatch held a Sister Keys Island cleanup this weekend. More than 100 participants convened at Mar Vista on Saturday morning. They rolled up their sleeves and got down to business clearing the beaches of garbage. A whole dumpster full of trash bags was collected by volunteers. Sarasota Baywatch is a nonprofit group dedicated to protecting and restoring Sarasota Bay's ecosystem. For more photos, go to yourobserver.com. Braden River Lakewood Ranch and Booker High School students enjoyed a night to remember as they celebrated their proms last weekend. Booker High students spent a night in Paris at their prom in the ballroom of Michael's on East. Masks served as tickets to enter the Braden River High Masquerade Ball at the Bradenton Municipal Auditorium. And Lakewood Ranch High celebrated an evening in the Grecian Garden at the Hyatt Regency, Sarasota. Go to yourobserver.com for multiple photo galleries. This week's In the Kitchen feature keeps recipes fresh with raw foods. Greyhawk Landing resident and roller derby player Melissa Robinson has been on a mostly raw food diet for two months. Robinson says the raw food recipes she uses are simple and don't take long to make. Proof is in her recipe for raw hazelnut chocolate brownies. For the full recipe, go to yourobserver.com. That's all for today's headlines. For more community and breaking news, go to yourobserver.com daily and pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer Wednesday or Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday.